Hello, welcome to Nintendo Nostalgia. I'm your host, Jacob Rush. I'm joined by my co-host, Ryan Black, and we're back and we're playing with Power. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone listening. Um, Ryan and I wanted to do a special short holiday episode on um, this Thanksgiving uh, time. Um, and when you're listening, this should be launching on uh, Wednesday. It's a Wednesday for you guys. We're going to... Um, we know this is the normal day that we release. Normally, it's on Mondays, and you just got a fresh Mario episode on Monday. Uh, but we are um, we wanted to do we like to do things for you know, on the holidays, right? You know, just something small. And um, <laughs> today is uh, so if you're traveling, I don't know if you travel far or not, or if you're just off and you're preparing for Thanksgiving. Um, hopefully, uh, that this is just a, a nice little way to pass the time for you but um ryan how are you doing on this on re really just getting ready for thanksgiving you got any big thanksgiving plans oh man um yeah i i am feeling great and i am looking forward to uh tuesday we're leaving uh in the evening we're driving up to Mus uh, to milwaukee wisconsin to uh spend uh thanksgiving and christmas called we call it thanks miss with my uh in-laws um so nice. looking forward to that trip it's our first time having uh yeah having thanksgiving somewhere else in like 10 years something like that whoa that's different that's uh, different it, it feels like that anyway maybe it was a little less than that but you know like so you know draco's health has declined and so like ours our house is the most accessible house so everybody just comes here and uh you know it's it's kind of a different thing now um we're, we're finally at a point where we can go out and travel a little bit um we're not stuck here, you know, caring for certain people. Like we're at a point in our lives where we can travel a little bit, yeah. you know, and, uh, and it's good. Um, I'm really, really excited to finally get to, uh, go and be with, with the in-laws at their house. It's been a long time since I've been over there and, you know, they're trying to make the house accessible for Draco to get in there. It's still an old Victorian. So they had to like build a ramp and, and there's some, some other things that need to be done to get, to get in there. But, um, just looking forward to that time spent with the, with the in-laws and family and, and uh, just, you know, kicking the holidays off like that. So, yeah. Good, good. Wow, it sounds like it's fun. And I'm glad you guys are at the point to where you can travel. Um, we have a uh, visitor for, for Ryan. It's his, his dog. Uh, so we apologize for the barking. Can't really edit that out. So if you have dogs, you understand. Um, and, and Ryan's uh, computer is having some issues right now. So we're actually recording... He's recording through his phone, so if our audio sounds a little weird, that that that's what's that's what you're experiencing. But um, uh, for myself, Thanksgiving wise, well, um, geez, since getting remarried, you know, you kind of get into new routines and different traditions with it with it, your newer family. So it's Thanksgiving with my wife's family is is something else. I mean, I tell you what, I don't know why. Um, but Thanksgiving is like a huge deal for them. And I, I really don't know why. I mean, I, I understand like why we all celebrate it, you know, it's our, you know, American holiday and, um, you know, us coming over here to America and, and all that. But I don't, um, and it's not like a, a diss or anything. It's just, um, I've never been around a family that celebrates it so much. So where it's like, normally we have a, you know, your, your Thanksgiving day thing. And, um, it, is uh i don't know it's it's just one done and then but with her family um everybody still comes around like they're all of their like second cousins aunts uncles from out of state they all travel and they come here and it's just like i i, I for one did not have that with my family one all of my family was still together like we all live in the same area but two um, I don't know. We did like just kind of did family with my immediate family, and then if grandparents wanted to join or something, they would come or not. Some years, some they, years they didn't. Um, and then we would just kind of watch movies and eat food all day, which was always fun. That was that's my Thanksgiving memories. But for them, they um definitely uh do they have everyone over, um, and it is delicious. And different people will volunteer hosting, um, but then like once the first day is done it's not done. Like you go back to bed. Everyone who came into town spends the night at places and then they get back up first thing in the morning. And now it's a giant breakfast and a big giant, like Thanksgiving 
breakfast buffet. It's like Thanksgiving all over, but it's all breakfast food. And um, everyone's eating and again and stuffing themselves. And then like the women go off and do some activities and whatever they want shop or whatever, I don't know, or craft. And then usually the guys go out and they like they go shooting. Um, Lindsay's grandpa and um her dad are really into shooting guns, so they go shooting at like a shooting rink and they take all the guys and whether we shoot or have shot or not, they teach the ones who haven't shot and it's just like a way for the men to bond. So I went shooting last year. Uh really was the first time I had really like actually shot anything. I had shot a shotgun one time at a friend's who somebody who shoots. But that was it before that. Uh, this was really my first real experience of like actually shooting stuff over and over again. And um, it's scary. I mean, for me personally, it's scary just because guns are I I don't have anything against guns. I, I but they're they're It's a serious weapon. I mean, it's a you know, it's a it, you have to be super careful. You know, it's. It's not like us playing video games and we're smashing and like we trade the controller off. You know, it's like you got to be careful. Guns can hurt you. They can backfire if you mishandle it. Yeah, you got to. It's just so it's just an intimidating scene. And I'm sure the more you do it, like anything, the easier it gets for you, you know, Um, the more casual you get. But so then they do that and then they then you go back and then they order a bunch of pizzas and then there's giant bingo night and we all play bingo for like two hours and they give out prizes whoever keeps winning they got a whole table full of prizes um and then there used to be a third day this year they finally whittled it down to two days so that's most likely what will be happening on my thursday and friday um and then saturday we kind of get a break and then sunday is thanksgiving with my family um my son's birthday is on the 24th so last year it fell on thanksgiving this year falls the day after Thanksgiving. So instead of doing like a party in between all the days, we're going to do a little bit. Basically, you know, you normally would have all the family over um, on one side, but we're going to do um, we're going to do the family. Lindsay's side of the family on Thanksgiving for Jack. And then on Sunday, my side of the family will bring stuff for Jack and we'll have cake and celebrate his birthday that way. But so he'll be five. Um, so it's a busy time. <laughs> to put it to say it went from just, you know, a simple Thanksgiving day with the family and movies growing up to uh, there's a lot to do now. And it, and it is fun. It could just, you know, the holidays. They're not really relaxing, are they? I mean, no, they're more they I'm more busy at the holidays than I am just going to my regular job. I mean, I guess depending on your job and what you do. But um, for me personally, it's more busier to, to drive around and eat and socialize all day long than teach lessons to students. But I'm looking forward to it. Again, it's fun. I'm very blessed. And so um, that, you know, I guess that just kind of brings us into what we want to talk about for today. We want to talk about what we're thankful for, um, which we've done this in the past. We, we've we we've done episodes of what we're thankful for. Um, and we're going to talk about what we're thankful for from video games to family to friends to anything in our lives that's going on right now um ryan would you you care to start yeah man um starting off first thing um i am so thankful for getting this podcast up and running again Mm. and being consistent and having some of the like the the regular listeners who are listened um say that they're getting caught up on their backlog that they, they you know they they started listening again. They're all caught up. They're ready for the new episodes. They're excited. We're doing weekly. Like I've gotten a lot of feedback from people just saying, Hey, welcome back. I'm really happy to see you guys coming back. And it's like, there's people that love our show. You know, it's not yeah. like, and they were kind of waiting for us to come back and hoping that we'd come back. That's really cool to know that um, we're still loved and uh, still, uh, they like what we put out, the content we put out and they like hearing from us. So it's cool. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, an encouragement to know that, that we're doing we're not just doing this for ourselves, but other people really enjoy us. Um, I'm thankful for that. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you. I mean, the response and just like I was telling Ryan, like we really try not to focus on like how many plays we're getting anymore. I mean, obviously we don't want to just do this for nobody. Um, we enjoy yeah. having people listen to us because it makes it worth our time implicitly. And, uh, but I mean, you know, I joked about, 
not having any more listeners and was kind of starting over when we came back. But I was actually quite surprised because when every time we upload an episode, we get we get the numbers back from previous episodes. And I was quite surprised to see how many listeners are were still just tuning in. And um, it was very heartwarming to to know that there's still people who like when our stuff comes up, they they click play and say, hey, what's going on? What are we talking about? Um, and, uh, you know, that makes me smile. I'm glad that people do enjoy the content that we put out. And again, I do hope we continue to grow and just reach even more people because it's fun. We have a community on Facebook, um, that people will chime in and share their nostalgia. We talk about the latest Nintendo news and really we're thankful for it all. Um, really, we really are. Um, uh, that, that's good, Ryan. Um, I'll take a turn. Um, I, obviously I'm thankful for that too. Um, but to continue it on, I'm thankful. I'm thankful in terms of the podcast still. I'm thankful for everybody who's been involved. You know, I am thankful for Josh and Chris. Um, they helped bring, they came in a time where we were very unstable in our lives personally and had to figure things out. And they really, they did help keep things flowing for a good bit there. And they and they brought uh, some good ideas and, and, and different personalities and voices to the show. And I am thankful that we had that, you know, because to be honest, at that time, we, we may have just killed the podcast. We, we just for everything that was happening in life in my life in your life, um, it may have just had to die at the time. And, you know, they kept breathing life into it. And yes, it was, we weren't, in, we weren't consistent, but, um, it still kept it relevant longer than it would have if they weren't there. And, um, I, I am thankful for them and they're, I thankful for their friendships. You know, we still have our, we have our NOS crew group chat. And those are the guys who have been a part of this podcast. Um, most of them from the beginning and you don't hear from them all a lot, but they are guys who we know that we could call on and they could try to come in and help. Um, and they do bring their own opinions and expertise, um, uh, to the show and they bring different personalities and, um, you know, you can look forward to hearing some of their voices pop back up again now that we're back and running and the deeper we get into the show, especially next year in 2024. But I'm thankful for all of them. You know, um, I really am Kyle, Jesse, Traven, uh, Tom, Chris, Josh, everybody. Uh, we love you guys. Seriously. Then we're thinking Tyler for you. <laughs> even Tyler, even though he is very quiet and he's never actually been on the podcast, actually. That'd be it'd be nice to have him on the podcast sometime. Um, maybe we talk some Mega Man or something like that. He likes that stuff. So but um, okay, what about you? Go ahead. Go again. So um just you know it re restating, re echoing like thankful for Josh and Chris for all that they've done. Um and I'm thankful that um they have future plans. Um, I can't say anything right now, but um, it's really cool to know that that it, they're not just like out of the podcasting and they don't have a voice anymore. No, no, they've they've got their own plans and their own projects yep. that they're wanting to work yep. on. And I'm really excited. We're we're, we're definitely 100 backing them and uh, thankful totally. that they're continuing on and uh, finding their own like their own niche, their own voice, um, their own platforms. Um, yeah. and, and making friendships and things. So it's really cool to see those things grow and become something new. Um, Absolutely. And, you know, and I'm thankful for just the fact that we have people that are willing to help out and willing to like coach us and, and say, Hey, you should probably do this. Like, you know, a lot of times like old man, Tom, he'll come in and uh -huh. he'll be like, Hey, um, you guys probably should focus on this. You probably should look at this or you probably should you know, try this, you know, just to, to give some feedback, to help give us some pushback from just doing what we were, we're comfortable with. Um, yeah. and yeah, this isn't about like being a big business transaction and being like this huge professional thing. Like this is just two guys hanging out, talking about nostalgia mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just celebrating things that we love. And, uh, and it's really cool that we have these new ideas and things that come from people and they, they don't necessarily have to be on the podcast every week and, and can uh, just, you know, we can live life together and enjoy things. And, you know, it's not all about the podcast. It's just all about the friendship and camaraderie. And I'm really thankful for that, that we have that support. Yeah. And, you know, again, thankful for like you and I and our friendship. This is, you know, with how busy life is. Ryan and I growing up, 
we used to be, I mean, the best of friends. And I mean, we still are bait best friends. You know, I consider Ryan a, when you, you think of people who are your core groups of friends, Ryan's always on my list. Like he'll always be there. He'll be one of the top people to re- I reach out to that I would never forget about, you know, and, and pretty much most of the guys in our, not most everybody in our NOS crew, you know, like, yes, that like that, that's why they're part of that NOS crew. Um, and I have others who are not in the NOS crew that are like that, but, um, Ryan and I, um, I'm thankful for this show because it's a way for Ryan and I to stay in each other's lives on a regular basis when yeah. we're not doing the podcast Just like I'm sure every listener on here will know, it's so easy to just be so busy with life that when you get time to like actually rest and have a break, you want to rest. You want to you want to be on a break, and you don't. We don't have time for everybody all the time, you know. And Mm -hmm. it's tiring. It's hard, and you have to pick and choose who to mingle with, who not to mingle with this week, who to hang out with, or if not to hang out with anybody at all, but just recover and be by yourself in your own family so this app podcast is an avenue for ryan and i to talk regularly um to see each other face to face through computers you know with technology now and um it's it's just a it's a great thing for our friendship i truly believe that and our brotherhood um i'm thankful for you man thankful for you and and that you were wanting to jump back on the saddle with me for for to bring this show back so um, yeah. I'm thankful for that. Yeah, man. And you no, know, right back at you. I am so thankful for you. Um, you know, your dedication, your excited, your excitedness, your, your passion, your, your, I'm so thankful that you want to edit the podcast and have ideas for making uh-huh. things exciting and, and, and you're, you're killing it so far. Like I love the music tracks that when they start out and how everything's working out. And, um, I'm really thankful that you have that, that fire in you again, you have that availability and, you know, thankful that you want to hang out with me. You know, uh, you know, it's it's thankful that we can, you know, kind of rekindle this 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 thing that we started, yep. um, and and pick up right where we left off. Um, you know, life's take taking us different ways, and sure. and I'm so thankful that um, that we can we can make this happen uh, for everybody. But I am so so like grateful to you, um, just you know, being there for me, being a friend but also like, you know, a partner, uh, a podcasting host partner and a brother. Like we've, we've been through thick and thin. Yeah. Um, we may have had our disagreements in the past where we didn't talk sure. as much, you know, but then we came back together and we, we hung out again. And, and uh, mm-hmm. that's, that's one thing I, I'm really thankful about for you is like about you is that you go and you seek those people, those relationships you had in the past. Um, and that's a strong nostalgia bond that you have. Like you, you want to do that. Like you, you are the person that after like i think it was like second grade you hadn't heard from traven like you had mm-hmm. talked about it for years and years and years i like man i wish i could find my my you know childhood you know best friend and i wish i could find you know th- this this guy and and uh you made it happen uh it's like through the power of the <laughs> internet and, and everything um you know and that that's the same thing like with me like i i said some things that upset you about some girl that you you liked at the <laughs> time and and uh, we stopped talking for a long time, but wild, you know, you, you, you were like, you, you came back, and uh, you know, we we started talking again and hanging out and being friends, and and I thought our friendship was done, you know, and I was really thankful that you just came back, and uh, yeah, I'm thankful to have you as, as as the person that I can talk to each week about mm-hmm. the things the Nintendo that we love. I mean, it's it's going back to our days just on the phone talking, just Dude. you know, use, using up the, oh. the landline so that they can't use the internet, yes. use the internet, you know, <laughs> talking yes. for hours. Good we time. would. We would talk for hours, man. I remember just pacing in my parents' dining room. I, they had this big, like, yeah. area rug, and it was, like, circular. I would just walk in circles on it while we talked the whole time, and we would talk about Metroid theories, Zelda theory, and stories, and um, well, that's nostalgia right there. And, I mean, and yeah, you know, like, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, like, I don't know. I, I kiss. I guess I'm kind of weird, um, and I've set myself up for a lot of heartache um, by the way I handle friendships because, like, you know, like when I have friendships and people I really care about, like I do, I go out of my way to like make those friendships work. And a lot of times it's, it's like just putting yourself out there. And, um, I think I'm, I'm guilty of thinking my, I've had friendships in the past that were a lot stronger and they really weren't, they were in my mind, but mm-hmm. 
because you, what I mean is like, you can put effort into hanging out with somebody and to try to talk to them. And I don't know if it's their birthday, you try to make it special. Or if it's Christmas, you try to make it special um, just to spark like, Hey, like you're a good friend to me and I love and care about you. And when it's not received, like back on the other end, eventually you, you see it and, and, it hurts, you know, um, I've had, I've had a handful of friendships like that to where I thought we were closer and I'm just, I eventually had to come to the point. I'm like, you know what? I guess we weren't, I guess we were in my eyes, but I guess for you, it was just a friendship, you know? And I yeah. mean, you know, and like, I guess I just, I, you, I have people who I just feel like I can be really raw and, and, and honest with and, and, and care for them. And I feel that way about you guys. I feel that way about Kyle Martin, Traven, Jesse, you, um, Tom. I mean, it's a little different with Chris and Josh cause they don't live here, you know, like obviously there are friends, um, but they definitely are like the foreigners, you know, they've been, they, they live in New York and in West Virginia. It's just, it's different spots and different types of relationships. But with you, you guys, the core guys, like I, I've been able to like, you know, invest and talk with you guys individually. And I, and I love and care about all of you like that. And yeah, going back to Traven, like, dude, Traven, I am thankful he's in my life. Traven is an awesome guy an awesome friend. Um, his whole family is, I'm thankful for them. They're, they're amazing people. Um, and, uh, you know, I've always kind of told his parents that I feel like they're like my second parents. Um, especially, you know, his dad is like, I, I've always looked up to him, uh, more so than my own dad for sure. And, and his mom is like a, oh, he's a second mom. When we talk about nostalgia, like those are people, your mom and dad are involved in that. Like I think about them, I think about Brad's mom, you know, like all those people, they mean a lot to me and I'm thankful for them, even though we don't get to talk all the time. Um, yeah, finding Traven was hard, dude. <laughs> I mean, he has no social media presence. He, he still doesn't to this day. Um, the only way I found him was through like, I, t I, I finally found his mom. I typed her name in. I sound like some creeper. I typed her name in on Google, but I was just mm -hmm. looking for anything I could find. And I found an email that attached to a school into their, his hometown. And I emailed it, gave it a shot. And it was her. <laughs> it was her. And can, gave me the, re gave me the numbers to their house and reconnected. And then, the rest is history and Traven's a part of our NOS crew and um, Traven is, he is definitely a silent man. Um, but when Traven speaks, it's it's like a big deal. Everyone listens when Traven talks, comes out of the woodworks and talks. So um, we love Traven, love you. Um, and I don't know if the listeners know this, but Ryan's my oldest friend of all time. Like my, my friendships, I, I, Ryan was born just a few years before me, but his mom and my mom were best friends growing up. And um, so like I knew Ryan when I was a baby and couldn't see anything or retain anything past 30 seconds. Um, so like, and he, Ryan was a crazy little toddler then. So like it was um, it's, he's truly, truly my oldest friend of all time. Like, you know, and it doesn't matter. I know Ryan and I, we don't, agree on everything in life or spiritually or politically or whatever. But like at the end of the day, Ryan's still like a brother to me. Like, and that's why like when people write people off and they kick them out of their lives, I don't see how people do that because like in my eyes, like Ryan will always be one of my best friends, one of my brothers. And like, yes, we may get mad at each other and disagree on things, but he's still my brother. That doesn't, that's not going to change. You know, and I yeah. care about Ryan and I'll always be there for you. And I know you'll always be there for me. Um, and yeah. the same goes for everyone else um, who's involved with this podcast. I try to treat them all the same. Love them all. All of them. That includes Chris and Josh, <laughs> even though they're not here and I don't get to see them. I do love and care about them. Um, yeah. But uh, I guess uh, and I guess I guess I could say some things I'm thankful for. Um, I'm thankful, obviously, for my new family. You know, since <laughs> this podcast has been back, um, it's or what was happening, why it wasn't going on. You know, I was getting remarried. I was looking for love again. I was restarting my life, um, trying to be a single dad of two at the time, taking on a new kid um, and, and going through a lot emotionally, like trusting that this relationship I was 
opening my heart to after a divorce. It wasn't going to blow up in my face and just end abruptly for no reason, like things that happened in the past. Um, and it wasn't just me. It was my children. I'm, you know, I got children to take care of and, and their hearts are involved. And um, it wasn't even for Lindsay. It wasn't just her. It was for her daughter. Her daughter was involved. You know, like there was a lot at stake. So it was a scary it, it was scary in a good <laughs> it's a good thing that was happening you know what i mean it's just like the yeah. vulnerability i talked about you're putting you're putting so much on the line and if this doesn't work it's going to hurt like crap for not just yeah. me anymore or Lindsay, but we have children and that would hurt for them too so mm-hmm. i'm thankful for her and and my my daughter um obviously my children but like including charlotte and um, and I'm thankful for Lindsay's family. You know, I just text her mom this morning just because I randomly was thinking about him. And, you know, I'm thankful to have good in-laws and thankful for all of her family. And um, it, it, they're special and they mean a lot to me. So thankful for that. Thankful for my own family. Uh, anything else for you? Um, yeah, just, I mean, Nintendo, of course, thankful for the great year we've had Uh for switch and just the great legacy we've had with switch, you know, for this long. Um, I'm really thankful that Nintendo has been knocking out of the park and, uh, you know, making good friendships and good connections with third parties. And, you know, almost every single game that I have great nostalgia for is on the switch now in in some form or another, um, for, for good or for bad. Um, but you know, I, I really am thankful that, I have this system that's kind of going to be like the ultimate system going forward. I can't imagine, you know, unless they carry everything forward, which they probably will for at least a generation or so. Sure. sure. Um, but, you know, I have access to all these games. Plus I get new experiences and new, new things that I can add my nostalgia. Um, and I'm just thankful that, that my gaming experiences didn't just die off with nostalgia and I'm making new nostalgia all the time. Um, and I'm glad I get to share that with everybody. I'm just thankful for all of that. Right. Um, thankful for family and, uh, just you know being able to keep going and and deal with the day-to-day um and thankful for a family that understands that i need to just veg out and play video games for a bit you know and and get lost in those things just as much as like i need to just take some time to watch the movies or something and and get you know just get out of my head um it's i'm just really thankful that that there's a support system that I have and, uh, you know, in you and, and all of my friends and family and everybody. Um, yeah. Cool. And then like, again, thank you so much for everybody who's listening. For sure. Um, yeah. And I'm glad that you brought it back around to Nintendo. That was one thing I wanted to pitch in too, is I'm JM. I'm thankful for this company that has created all of the memories that we have. Um, like you said, my, my childhood me- friendships with you with Traven with Brad and the friendships I have today the root the root connector to that is Nintendo and um you know we're talking about Mario World in depth right now and like I boot that on and I think of Traven like I, I didn't have a Super Nintendo he was the dude that I'd spend the night on a Friday night we went to different schools you know we our moms would work it out and then we're playing with Mario World every all night long, or as late as we could as little kids. And then we get back up first thing in the morning and we run straight downstairs and turn it on. Ding. And here's Mario World again. And like it was an obsession of and that we we really loved and enjoyed. And I'm thankful for that. Um, thankful for this company that's created all that. And I'm thankful we Ryan and I were just talking about the switch beforehand. Like truly, just it's really the perfect system. For us adults, I know it's good for kids, but like for us who grew up from the Game Boy era to having you know, handhelds and a home console and to have it fused together, like the busyness of life is is this suits the busyness of life for adults so much. Mm-hmm. And um, when I was a kid, I didn't hand I had handhelds, but I didn't play them. When I had a home console, that was my main thing. That was my jam. I came home from school football practice, whatever. And I'm sitting down and I'm playing, I'm playing, um, you know, whatever I'm playing the GameCube. I'm playing this, the 64, uh, the, Wii. those were at home. I wasn't playing handheld. And now as an adult, I love to play on the big screen when I can. 
But I tell you what, I'm more tired as an adult too. And it's nice that I can just pull my switch and when I wake up in the morning and I'm back in that commercial, that dude playing Zelda, you know, and switch came out and he just woke up and he pulls the switch out. I do that all the time. Now I do that with like Pikmin and Pikmin four right now when I slowly play it, just oh, mm-hmm. there you go. And I can just stop the game right in the middle of play. I don't have to turn. I can just hit the power button, turn it off and I would turn it on and it's right where it was. It didn't like have to yeah. reboot the whole system and lose my spot and retract my steps. No, I'm right where I am. And I just, the system is amazing. And I'm excited to see how it evolves with the next generation. Um, I'm, I hope they go with Super Switch. I, I do. I really hope that's the name they go with. I think yeah. that'd be appropriate and cool. Because I feel like the Switch was just like a rebirth of Nintendo. Um, I really do. But that, I mean, obviously there's so much we could be thankful for. where We could talk for hours. But um, this, you know, we didn't want to do this episode too long. So it's a little over half hour here for you guys. Um Ryan, you want to just tell everybody where they can find us if they don't know? Yeah, sure thing, man. Um, you can always uh, listen to us on all of the lovely podcast catchers out there. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, and Pandora. Um, you can also find some limited selection of videos on YouTube. Um, if you want to get in the socials with us, uh, Facebook at Nintendo NOS. On our TikTok, Nintendo underscore NOS on x twitter at nintendo underscore nos instagram nintendo nostalgia in shoot us an email at nintendo nostalgia in at gmail.com and you can always call into our nostalgia hotline and share your memories show us some love at 317-969-5690 guys this brings us to the end of the episode thank you so much for listening we are thankful for you and everybody out there later Preston. happy thanksgiving see ya <laughs>